I welcome you all on the YouTube channel of Analyst IAS. Our today's topic for focus of the day discussion is the missing deputy speaker. We will see by in news what are the constitutional provisions regarding the deputy speaker, how are elections of deputy speaker held, what is the term of office and removal procedure, what are the powers of the deputy speaker, what is the need of deputy speaker, and then we will see can the courts intervene. In this process after it we have our prelims practice question we have three questions and then we will come to our today's mains practice question as well so we'll start by a news recently the supreme court issued notices to the center and five states rajasthan uttarakhand madhya pradesh uttar pradesh and jharkhand over the failure to elect a deputy speaker a bench led by chief justice of india dy chandrachur sought responses on a PIL that contends that not electing a deputy speaker to the 17th Lok Sabha which was constituted on June 19, 2019 is against the letter and spirit of the constitution. What are the constitutional provisions? So article 93 of the constitution of India deals with the election of speaker and deputy speaker of the Lok Sabha while article 178 deals with the speaker and deputy speaker of legislative assembly of our state as per article 93 the house of the people shall remember it is shall as soon as may be choose two members from among its member to be respectively speaker and deputy speaker thereof the article further states that the house shall choose another member to fill the vacancy if the office of speaker or deputy speaker becomes vacant Similarly, Article 178 states that the Legislative Assembly of the state shall as soon as may be choose two members of the assembly to be respectively speaker and deputy speaker thereof. Constitutional experts point out that the use of the word shall in both the articles 93 and 178 indicates that the election of both the speaker and deputy speaker is mandatory under the constitution. Therefore, it is essential to have a deputy speaker in the Lok Sabha and Legislative Assembly of a state and the absence of a deputy speaker could be a violation of constitutional provisions. How are elections held? In Lok Sabha, the election of deputy speaker is governed by Rule 8 of the Rules of Procedure and Conduct Business in Lok Sabha. The deputy speaker is elected by the Lok Sabha from among its member right after the election of the speaker the date of election of the deputy speaker is fixed by the speaker what is the term in removal like the speaker the deputy speaker remains in the office usually for entire duration of the house which is five years the deputy speaker may vacate his her office earlier in any of the following ca three cases if he see she ceases to be a member of the Lok Sabha if he resigns by writing to the speaker if he is removed by a resolution which is passed by a majority of all the then present members of the Lok Sabha, such a resolution can be moved only after giving 14 days advance notice to him. What is the need of Deputy Speaker? First of all, he maintains continuity. Deputy Speaker maintains continuity of the office whenever a speaker is absent or the office becomes vacant. It represents the house. If the speaker resigns, he, she tenders resignation to deputy speaker strengthens the opposition since 2011 convention has been to offer the position of deputy speaker to the position party though constitutionally deputy speaker can be from opposition or the majority party he must be a member of the Lok Sabha can courts intervene the courts generally avoid interfering in the internal affairs of the legislative bodies and are hesitant to question the procedural decisions of parliament as article 122 of the constitution provides that the validity of any proceedings in parliament shall not be called into question on the ground of any alleged irregularity of procedure. However, this does not mean that the courts are completely barred from examining any issue related to the functioning of parliament. What are the powers of the speaker? So according to the article 95, the deputy speaker shall carry out responsibilities of the speaker's office while it is vacant. In general, the deputy speaker has the same powers 
as the speaker while presiding over a sitting of the house all references to the speaker in the rules are deemed to be references to the deputy speaker when he presides it has been repeatedly held that no appeal lies to the speaker against a ruling given by the deputy speaker or any person presiding over the house in the absence of the speaker now we will come to our today's prelims practice question this question came in the year 2017 Consider the following statements in the election of Lok Sabha and state assembly the winning candidate must get at least 50% of all the votes polled to be declared elected second according to the provisions laid down in the constitution of the india in lok sabha the speaker's post goes to majority party and the deputy speakers to the position which of the following statements is are correct pause the video try to answer so basically answer of this should be D neither one or two now we will come to our question number 2 regarding the office of the lok sabha speaker consider the following statements he she holds the office during the pleasure of the president he she need not to be a member of house at the time of his or election but has to become a member of the house within 6 months from the date of his or election if he she intends to resign the letter of his resignation has to be addressed to the deputy speaker Pause the video. Try to answer. Try to answer it in the comment section. There we will let you know if it's correct or not. Now we will come to our today's third question. You can pause the video. You can read all the statements from here. And in the next slide we have the options. You can try to answer it in the comment section as well. Now we will come to our today's main practice question. that what are the roles and responsibilities of the speaker of lok sabha how is the deputy speaker of the lok sabha elected the office of the deputy speaker is not a ceremonious post but a constitutionally mandated one comment on this its importance this was all, all about today's topic thank you have a great day stay tuned for the next topic